Hello and welcome to today's product demo for Sangfor Cyber Command. In this video, we will demonstrate how Cyber Command correlates with Sangfor hyperconverged infrastructure to respond automatically to threats in the network using SOAR, which stands for Security Orchestration, Automation and Response. First, let's take a look at the topology. As you can see, we usually mirror the traffic of the switch to Cyber Command Center to collect and analyze threat information in the network. Next, let's take a look at the display section. If we want to integrate Cyber Command with hyperconverged infrastructure, we need to do some basic configuration first. First, create an authorized account and password on the hyperconverged infrastructure platform to allow Cyber Command to remotely invoke the disposal actions performed by the hyperconverged infrastructure platform. After configuring the hyperconverged infrastructure, the next step is to configure the Cyber Command. Add the hyperconverged infrastructure platform on Cyber Command. Enter the username and password we created earlier on the hyperconverged infrastructure platform. Then add an app instance of the hyperconverged infrastructure platform. You will also need to enter the username and password created on the hyperconverged infrastructure platform before and test the connectivity to ensure that the cyber command and the hyperconverged infrastructure platform can communicate normally. Next, we'll design a SOAR playbook for dealing with thread hosts. Here, we'll use the playbook configured in advance. You can see that the trigger condition of the SOAR playbook is set to security incidents on ransomware viruses. First, configure the first node to obtain the resource information of the virtual machine. Here, we'll use the recommended VM ID variable. Because it takes a certain time to obtain the resource information of the virtual machine, we'll configure a delay of 15 seconds. Then, configure the second node to create a distributed firewall policy on HCI to block communication between the infected virtual machine and the ransomware server. For the parameters required by the distributed firewall policy, we can refer to the variables recommended by Cyber Command. Then, we'll save a snapshot of the infected virtual machine for later investigation and forensics to facilitate more professional analysis. For the parameters required by the node, we'll use the variables recommended by Cyber Command. Considering that it takes a certain amount of time to save the snapshot, we have to set a certain delay. For the last node, in order to prevent the infected virtual machine from being continuously attacked and to prevent the infected virtual machine from attacking other virtual machines on the intranet, the infected virtual machine needs to be forcibly shut down. After checking that there is no problem with the configuration, let's verify the linkage between Cyber Command and the hyperconverged infrastructure platform. We will use real viruses to generate ransomware traffic. Here, we'll run the virus directly on the test computer, and we can see that after the virus runs, it continuously accesses the URL of the ransomware virus and generates APT traffic. Now that ransomware traffic has been generated in the network, let's see if Cyber Command and hyperconverged infrastructure are linked to automatically deal with cyber threats. Wait a moment on Cyber Command and you will see that our configured SOAR playbook has been executed. Looking at the details of the script execution, you can see that the four nodes of the playbook have been executed as expected. Finally, let's verify the effect of the linkage. 
Viewing the distributed firewall policy, you can see that Cyber Command has automatically created a distributed firewall policy on the hyperconverged infrastructure platform and all services of the PC accessing the destination address are blocked. View the snapshot of the virtual machine. You can see that the snapshot has been automatically produced and you can restore the snapshot to obtain more virus attack information in subsequent forensics. Looking at the console of the virtual machine, you can see that the virtual machine has been automatically shut down, which prevents the virtual machine from being further attacked or spreading to other devices on the internet. So this is an example of how Cyber Command correlates with hyperconverged infrastructure using a SOAR playbook to automatically respond to security threats in the network. We hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.